Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are fine. In today's tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use local notifications inside Flutter application. For this purpose, we will use Flutter local notifications plugin. Let me show you. This is Flutter local notifications plugin. We will use it in our application. Here let me add Flutter local notifications plugin. For this purpose, we will write command Flutter pub add and here we will paste our plugin name Flutter local notifications. Press enter. Now our plugin has been added successfully. Now here I will create a separate file. I will give it name as uh, you can give any name. I will give name notification helper. This is notification helper file and inside this file I will create a class notification helper. This is our notification helper class. Inside this class we will write our code for notifications. First of all I will create variable static uh, final uh, private variable notification and initialize it with letter local notifications plugin like this then i will create a function static function name it as init in order to initialize uh, notifications here i will write notifications dot initialize uh, initialization uh, setting and inside this we will pass uh, two parameters one for unwrite and write initialization settings and here we simply need to pass our uh, icon default icon for our notifications here we will give at the rate of mip map slash ic launcher this is default icon for our notifications by using android if you are confused what is this let me show you if you open android folder here inside uh, open app source main and again if you open resource here you can see mip map mip map folder with mip map names you can see here and if you click here you can see ic launcher by default uh, it is showing flutter icon because we did not set any icon or launcher for our application you can see different folders with same name mip map like this i hope you understand what is ic launcher so here we need to give reference of our icon for notifications and the second parameter is ios for ios we need to pass darwin initialization settings if you hover it uh, it will say add constant keyword now initialization uh, step has been completed now we will create a function to show push notifications here we will create static push notifications here we will pass two variables one for title uh, string title and other for body string body we will pass two variables two values inside this function and that will be shown in our notifications here let me show you notifications dot show you will see here this is function to show the notifications here we need to pass four uh, parameters first of all we need to pass id we need to give id of the notification and its type is integer we can give any id or any random id for example 100 this is notification id second parameter is title that we want to show uh, this is title we already passed title and body inside our uh, parameters here title and body and the last parameter is notification details here we need to pass notification details so here let me create notification details what is notification details here let me create notifications notification details notification details this is our notification detail and inside this we need to pass uh, parameters you can see we can pass four parameters for android ios and uh, linux and mac but in this case we will pass only two details uh, for android and ios here before this first of all let me create a, a detail for android android 
details android notification uh, details you can see here android notification details inside this we need to pass few parameters uh, let me uh, use on separate lines like this first of all we need to give channel id you can give any channel id uh, for example our channel id is important channel like this and channel name you can give any name for example uh, my channel this is name of channel and if you hover it you will see different properties we can pass uh, different details inside uh, parameters we can also pass channel description uh, importance priority and all the information you can see here this is a list of informations we can pass for now we will pass only importance and priority here importance uh, importance for example max and priority uh, high we want to set priority high and importance max for our android channel so this is the detail of android we can simply pass here our android in android case android details like this same like this we can create details for ios for ios details and simply uh, we can here give darwin initialization settings and we don't need to pass any detail here again here we need to give uh, darwin or ios ios here we will give ios details sorry here we need to give darwin uh, notification details darwin notification details instead of initialization now you can see error has been removed now we are ready to send notifications uh, just used here uh, await keyword because this is time taking process and here async like this our backend part for the notifications is ready now simply we will write our uh, front end part first of all we need to import material package uh, create main function inside main function here run app const my app we will name it as my app here we will create stateless widget my app and here we will return our material app uh, we can give title uh, we can give any title notifications for example and we can set theme theme data and inside we can pass color scheme color scheme uh, color scheme dot from seed we can give any uh, color here for example indigo and we will use material 3 true now here we will create our uh, class or you can say it widget or screen home screen we can direct create here home screen Uh, this is a state less widget home screen here we will give uh, scaffold inside scaffold uh, app bar and app bar first of all title uh, we can give a title uh, notifications like this we can center the title true like this here we can uh, give our home widget home screen like this first of all when our application will run uh, we need to initialize our notifications we will call our init function you can see we created all the variables and functions static because we will call directly uh, from class name here first of all uh, before run app we will call our notification helper notification uh, helper dot init first of all we will initialize it but before initializing it we need to write a single line widgets flutter binding widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized so this line means uh, our flutter framework has been ensure initialized if we directly use any initialization here before our application it can create a problem in some cases so always it is better to use this line uh, widgets letter binding 
ensure initialized before using any initialization. Now let me uh, run the application. Now you can see our application is running without any error. So first of all we need to create button to show notifications here inside body uh, center center child here we will create elevated button on pressed and give a child name uh, we can give name send notification like this and inside our uh, on pressed we can call our function uh, push notifications uh, notification helper notifications helper dot push notification here we need to pass our title and description let me pass title and uh, sorry uh, body not description title first of all here let me give a title uh, uh, this is title and body let me give this is a body of notification like this now if i press send notification button you can see uh, it is showing notification you can see here its title is uh, this is title and body is this is body you can remove notification like this again if you press send notification it will send again notification you can see so this is the way we can send notification uh, by using uh, flutter local notifications plugin so if you have any question in your mind, you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on WhatsApp. Okay, good luck.